And hello folks, it is I, Kamikaze. I'm here to bring you a quick tutorial. This is going to set you up with Google Translate in order to be able to uh, utilize it offline so that way you can translate all the languages and if you, as long as you don't have a like a glitch that ends up happening that figure out how to fix you'll be able to use the text-to-speech as well that way it will translate to and from the language that you're setting up for um, some languages are not available for offline use unfortunately there's nothing that can be done about that uh, but in this case we're gonna set up from English to Japanese because I want Japanese so that way if I go to Japan it would be easier for us to translate back and forth the reason why I'm making this is because there is a device called the Illy translator which I will show you right here is the lovely Illy Translator. It is not that great. Um, for its price point, all it does is use simple travel phrases and words. The downside of that is it's one way. So that way you would talk into it, it would translate out. You would not get a conversation back. There's no way for it to translate back. Where? By using the Google app, you're able to do two-way communication and open up a whole new world of conversation wherever you go. That way you can immerse yourself in the cultural and all the surroundings around there. You can make friends. You can do stuff. You can have actual conversations. It would be great. Uh, obviously, I will state that no translation is perfect. I mean, it doesn't matter online, offline, otherwise, uh, it's, well, the best of your, the ability of the software itself. So, in this case, we're going to use Google Translate, but we want to use it offline. That way you don't need Wi-Fi, that way you don't need anything besides a power supply to activate your phone. Uh, so, what we're going to do to set that up is we go to Settings. Mine's already set up, but I'm still going to be able to show you everything. We scroll down, we go to Language and Support. Sorry, Language and Input. Then we click Virtual Keyboard is the first one we do. Click Google Voice Typing, and from here, we go to Offline Speech Recognition. Realize that your version of Android may or may not have these features. You either have to upgrade your OS, or you have to upgrade your phone, because it's not going to be compatible with everything. And I apologize, there's nothing I can do about that, but I'm going to show this to you. So right now, I have English and Japanese installed, but you do have the option of clicking All and going through this entire list and selecting it. As you can see, Japanese down here says Uninstall, and so does English up top. So now, we go back to the install just to show you those two lists there. You can install as many as you want for however many you want, just to play around with if you'd like. So now that we're done with that, we go back, back, back until we reach this, whoops. Went well, back one too many. Back on the language and input. Now we go down to text to speech because we want to try and make sure that it can, you know, talk to me. But if it doesn't work, it doesn't mean it won't translate. It just means it won't voice it. So you're still set for translation if you show them your phone, as long as they can read. Um, so here we at the Google text to speech. Click the little gear. Then you go install voice data. When you're here, these are all of the voice data that you can install. Uh, some of them may not be available offline, so it may be hit or miss in this. But as I said, this is just an extra bonus to be able to actually hear what's being said. In this case, I would choose Japanese, but the thing is I already have it installed, so it's telling me just to uninstall it. Now that we're done with that, we're going to go back out, go back into the folder I had. Since all that's installed, we're going to go into Google Translate itself. That is it. It is complete. And to demonstrate it to you, I am offline right now. I have 4G disabled and Wi-Fi disabled. So I am offline, and I'm going to go, Hello, how are you this evening, you demon from hell? And ta-da, you now have the ability of doing English to Japanese. But not only that, if you look down at the bottom, you have an English button and a Japanese button, which means you can have them click the Japanese button and speak Japanese to you. Unfortunately, I'm speaking nothing but gibberish in English, um, but then it will translate up here. Apparently that's what I said in Japanese, it's close to what it can uh, register. And this, as it's set up offline, it's able to voice it either way. I actually have the older version of the uh, Google Translate, because I can't use the latest one for some reason, it doesn't use the text-to-speech, which is what I want to use. Other than that, it translates fine. And on the text-to-speech, you can still manually push it, but it's not as live as this is. So hopefully this helps you out setting up your Google phone to be able to set up to do all the different languages and all the different translations that you could ever want to help you explore the world and absorb all the knowledge that's within it. 
this is going to help me go to Japan and be able to converse with people and find out where the arcade is so I can win a crap ton of plush animals. So, thank you for watching. If you had fun, uh, do whatever you want. Push the buttons, do the things, make me happy, and I'll see you guys in the next video.